One of the big issues I see here on YouTube is just a lack of option traders showing their real positions over long periods of time. In this video, I'm going to show all the trades I've done in one position over the past several years. In all, there were nine option trades I did in this underlying stock. Six of them were winners and three of them were losers. But overall, we ended up with a really nice cash flow and return on this position. I'm going to talk you through the entire process of all these trades. I'm going to show you what went right and also what went wrong. This will help you to see how you can use selling put options to consistently generate nice cash flow and return in your account. I know there's a lot going on here, so let me break it all down for you. In the big white box here, this is the time frame we're going to talk through with this underlying stock, which is PLD. In the purple box here, off to the right, that's the time frame whenever we did not trade options in this stock at all. We totally avoided it. And as you can see, it was a good time to avoid it because it was a very choppy market with very big volatile swings underlying stock. Now, each one of these up and down errors, those are the days that we did an option trade in the stock. Here you see on the far left, this is when we did our first trade we're going to talk about in this video. On January 25th, with PLD trading around $125 per share, we sold the $120 cash care put option that expired the next month. Notice that was below the red 200 moving average here on this daily chart, and below an area would have been consolidating about the previous week. Well, the stock had a nice advance. It ran all the way up to $136, $137 per share. So the trade went our way almost immediately. With the trade progressing nicely, and the stock having a little bit of a decline after that big run up, as you see here on February 13th and 14th, I decided to add to this position by selling additional cash care put options. I went out about a month from that day and sold the third Friday of March, $125 cash care put options. At this point, we had a full position size in PLD. You see, I like to have at most around a two and a half to three percent initial position size. My overall maximum position size rule for myself is I don't want to have more than five percent at risk in any one stock. So with us having now sold three cash care put options around the 120 to 125 strike price, at this point, I was done adding to this position. That would leave me some position sizing available to help prepare the position if it went against us. A few days later, that February option we had sold back in January was about to expire, so we rolled that same 120 strike price out to March. So at this point, we had sold some $120 strike price cash care put options as well as $125 cash care put options that expired in March. Well, the stock had a nice bounce and went up as high as around $128 per share, but then the position began to move against us. Notice by March 13th, the stock had declined all the way down to around $116 per share. So both the cash care put options that we have sold were now in the money. At this point, I had a decision to make. I could either exit the position for a loss, let the stock be assigned to us, or do something else, and I decided to do something else with it. I decided I wanted to adjust this position to put it more back into our favor. Just as a note here, this yellow line here, this is the time when this trade actually went against us kind of in a big way. So that kind of gives you a point of reference as I talk through these trades. With the position having declined over 5% since we sold those March options, I decided to go ahead and try and repair this position or put it back more in our favor. I remember we had sold two of the 125 strike price put options and one of the $120 strike price put options. So as you see here, just above the yellow line, I decided to, when I bought those March options back, I'd roll them out to April and I also try and get that strike price down. That's exactly what we did. We got the $125 strike price cash care put options down to the 120 strike price. So now we had all three of our cash care put options at the 120 strike price. PLD had a nice advance to the point where on April 21st, the stock was trading for around $125 per share. Because of that, I felt comfortable selling the May 120 cash care put options. As you see here, for about the next six months, PLD traded in a nice zone between $118 per share and $130 per share. During that time, as you see at these yellow arrows, we did several roll trades with these cash care put options. That just means that we bought the near term option and rolled it out to a farther dated option every time we rolled it out for a credit. However, fast forward to June 16th, and with PLD supposed to announce earnings, I decided to get out of this trade, leave it alone, and not risk being in a position through earnings. So we bought to close those June options and just waited to do a new trade in PLD. Well, after earnings on July 18th and 19th, with the all clear and PLD still trading in a nice range, I decided to sell the third Friday of August 120 cash care put options. That worked out well for us because you see here, PLD made a nice advance over the next several weeks, all the way up to $130 per share. So a nice seven plus percent advance. And then came down and traded for several weeks just above our 120 strike price cash care put option. So on August 16th, I bought to close those third Friday of August 120 cash care put options and rolled it out to the third Friday of September at that same 120 strike price. Again, PLD stayed in that nice range between 118 and 127 per share. 
And so as you see here on September 14th, I was able to close out those September trades for an overall nice return in profit. Now PLD was scheduled to announce earnings again, so I wanted to be out of that position. I didn't want to risk being in a cash care put option position through earnings if at all possible, so we exited. Now as you can see, that was the right decision because over the next month and a half or so, PLD declined almost 20%. Then things got really choppy. After that 20% decline, and then had an advance over the next month and a half of right at 40%. And then calmed down a little bit over the next several months and kind of traded sideways, but in a wide range between $123 per share and $140 per share. After that experience, another really big drop over 20% in less than a month. But then in late April, it looked like it began to find support around $100 per share. With it consolidating in a nice range here, around $100 to $105 per share, I decided that I was okay selling some new cash care put option positions against PLD. So as you see here in my notes, on April 26th, 29th, and 30th, I sold the third Friday of June $95 cash care put options. Now keep in mind that PLD had been finding support around $100 per share, but I wanted to give myself some room to be wrong and still win this position, so I sold those cash care put options about 5% farther out of the money. Well, after consolidating for a few more days, PLD took off, and over the next two weeks, had a nice advance of around 10%. Because of that nice advance, as you see here, just a few days ago, we closed those June 21st $95 PLD cash care put options out for 25 cents per share. And here in the yellow box at the bottom, that's a transaction where we closed those June $95 cash care put options out for 25 cents per share. Here in this Excel spreadsheet, you see all the trades we've done in PLD over the past year and a half. This little area in here where the green shaded boxes are, that's where the trade actually went against us. In the far right column, you see our annualized return calculated based on the number of days that we in the trade and the strike price of the underlying cash care put option we sold. So this is a non-leveraged return. Notice that with the exception of the three trades that went against us here in yellow that were negative, overall we realized really nice consistent returns on our capital. And this isn't leveraged capital, this is the actual capital we had at risk if the underlying stock actually went to zero. In all, as you see here on the bottom right corner, as a result of selling cash care put options against PLD over the previous year and a half or so, we pocketed over $3,300 in this one position. Remember, my position sizing is that I want any one position to be less than 3% of my overall portfolio. At most, I'll let it be 5% if I'm repairing a position. I hope this example helps you to see how over the long term, even when positions go against you, you can use selling cash care put options to generate consistent cash flow and return. Something I found interesting about this position is that if you look at the charts from the time I started trading PLD in the spreadsheet to the time I just closed out my final trade a couple of days ago, notice that PLD is actually down around 11%. As you see here, during that same time frame, even though PLD was down over 10%, we actually are walking away with a very nice profit of over $3,300. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. One of the option trading strategies I like to use is risk reversals. It allows you to pocket some cash up front with the potential of a huge gain on the backside. If you'd like to see how I use risk reversals to generate consistent cash flow in return, check out the video at the link above and description below entitled, My Stock and Option Trading Secret Weapon, risk reversals. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.